Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Robinson again, and we are going to continue our studies. This time we're talking about transformation notation for rotation. So I have a video I'll show my students in class. So a rotation turns a figure around a point. That point is called the center of rotation. On the coordinate plane, the center of rotation may be the origin or any other point. In this video, we're going to talk about the origin. I'll be making another video shortly about the other points. Rotations can be clockwise to the right, so let's show our arrow going to the right, or counterclockwise going to the left. So I can go the left. I tell my students, I said, if you forget, which way clockwise is, just take a look at the clock and see the red hand, how it's turning to the right. And clockwise, uh, counterclockwise, think about uh, daylight savings time when we have to turn the clock backwards. For each vertex point, x, y, when you rotate 90 degrees clockwise about the origin, its image is y, negative x. When you rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin, its image is negative y, x. If you rotate it 180 degrees about the origin, its image is negative x, negative y. Note, a 180 degrees clockwise rotation has the same result as 180 degrees counterclockwise rotation. So let's see some examples. So we want to rotate triangle RSQ 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. So here's our origin, and we want to rotate it counterclockwise. Counterclockwise means we're going to the left. So we're going to turn it this way. So let's get our rule down first. Remember, when you rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise, your coordinates are going to be negative y, x. So let's just take this and let's rotate it to the left, 90 degrees. So I'm going to pull this 90 degrees a little more. And now it stops right there. That's 90 degrees. Let me just line up the origin. And now there it is down there. Originally it was up here at these points, and we'll get to those points in a second. And now it's down here in the fourth quadrant. So let's look at our points and compare. Point Q was negative 4, 6. So point Q, negative 4, 6 up here. Now Q prime, which is down here, when we rotate it, it's down here, negative 6, negative 4. So notice the difference, and remember the rule, the y, x and y coordinate switch places, and we negate the y coordinate. So it was 6, so it switched places, and it got negated. So negative 6, negative 4. Notice the s coordinate, it was here, it was negative 1, 6. And it's now down here, negative 6, negative 1. So again, we switch places and negate the y coordinate. So the y coordinate got switched and negated. And the coordinate for r was negative 1, 4. So now it's down here at negative 4, negative 1. So again, we switch places and negate the y coordinate. So it switched places and it's negated the y coordinate. So that's what it looks like when we do counterclockwise, which is going to the left. Let's try this one. Figure P is rotated about the origin to form figure Q, which, describe, which, which describes the rotation. So here we got figure P. That's the original shape. And now it's turned or rotated to figure Q. So... Let's see. 
it looks like it got turned going to the right because it's now on the right side so it looks like it's got turned going that way so it's like they grabbed it and turned it that way so to the right so and if we remember that's going clockwise so if I grab it and turn it 90 degrees that's just one rotation the P will be over here now right on top of that and let's just remember to line up uh, origins so it's right on top of the Q right here so now the P is there right on top so it's just one turn of 90 degrees clockwise so let's take a look and see what our answer is yes it is a so a would be the answer 90 degrees clockwise now since we have the others here let's just take a look 180 degrees let's keep turning that figure so let's turn it a little bit more 180 degrees that'd be another 90 and line up the origin so figure P would be down here when it was there. Now it's down there, 180 degrees. So clockwise. And now 90 degrees counterclockwise. Let's go back to its original state. Ninety degrees counterclockwise, if we turn that, that's the opposite way. Ninety degrees. The opposite way. Figure P would be over here. So that's why it's not C. We're trying to get the Q. Q's over there. So a hundred and eighty degrees counterclockwise and that's turning it upside down so let's put it back at its original state one more time so counterclockwise and they set in the rules counterclockwise turning it left or right would be this end up in the same result so that's turning it this way and if you notice our P is at the same place over here so that would be what it looked like if we did it counterclockwise whether we turned it left or right clockwise or counterclockwise we still end up in quadrant number um uh <laughs> this quadrant right here four so let's go back to the rule and let's put this straight the rule y negative x so if, when we're turning clockwise then these points should reverse the y and x so let's look at this one, one right here which is 4 negative 1 negative 4 4 negative 4 negative 4 1 and let's go over here where it is located now notice it's 1 4 so what they did was they took the coordinates switch places with it 1 negative 4 and then you have to negate the y coordinate and now it becomes positive 4 so it'd be 1 4 so that rule holds up at that corner point right there. So here's one for you. The triangle RST is rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. If the coordinates, what are the coordinates of the image of point R? So there's point R right here. And the image, this is the pre-image we want what is it going to be when we rotate it counterclockwise? Remember which way is counterclockwise? So that's for you to try. I'll give you hints. You can select your graph paper and turn it. That's a nice trick 
and doing it. Another thing, you can memorize the rules. Negative Y, X will help you also. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. So if you have questions, write them down. I'll be glad to answer them in class. If you understand, great. If you need to rewatch the video, please do. And I hope you'll give us a like on YouTube. And I'll see you next time with the next video. Bye-bye.